Hi, I'm Michael Amos. I'm from Melbourne, Australia, and I've just graduated from Animation Mentor. I'd seen the showcases before, in particular last year at a CTN conference in LA, and I was really impressed with the quality of the work, so I decided that it was the place to join, and it was one of my main goals. I really wanted to get one of the pieces up to that polished level and standard to be able to try and get it into the showcase. The reason I came up with the idea for Robin Hood was because I just watched the original Robin Hood with Errol Flynn and it was something that I tried to catch up with a lot of movies that I hadn't seen because I knew that was one thing. I'd watched a ton of animation but I hadn't really watched a lot of movies. Uh, so I kind of went to the, the top 500 films of all time and decided I was going to watch all 500 while at Animation Mentor. One of them was, the, was Robin Hood and I really loved the, the action sequences and so just the costumes and, and the characters and that sort of thing in there and I thought making a castle would be fun too. So I decided that uh, yeah that would be a really cool scenario to sort of build in lots of those body mechanics. The main thing that I really tried to, to build those influences into was the, was the dodging of the arrows because I knew that the line of action had to be really, really clear. So I would try and, I mean, I'd start off with loads of different like drawings of lines of action. So I probably did about 15 or 20 different ideas for poses on just how he could dodge that arrow. So whether it went sort of under his arm or in between his legs or whatever it was that you had to do to try and get that arrow to just miss him. And so uh, just sort of start to work out the kind of the posing and everything else. Because I find like usually I'll have a piece of paper in front of me when I'm blocking and just draw the pose first. I find it really hard to work out how to get that pose in 3D first. So I need to draw it out, push the pose as much as possible in a 2D drawing and then take it into 3D from there. The main thing that I learned from this shot was really allowing myself to change things as I go. Uh, the original pencil test, he doesn't actually do the dodging of the arrows on the, on the little pole. He actually lifts his hat up and an arrow hits it. Because I really wanted to kind of work that arrow back in and then puts it on and jumps off. And when I, I blocked that out and it just felt really flat and boring and it didn't have really the, the, the sort of the energy that I wanted to finish the shot on. So allowing myself to sort of plan really carefully, but then if you come up with really great ideas or if something's not working, uh, allowing yourself to go back in there and make those changes. The things that I've enjoyed the most of being at Animation Mentor is, is probably, there's two things, really just the, the mentors and their experience and, and learning from them. They've just got so much uh, passion. You can tell they just love animation. They love what they're doing. And I think that's why most of us got into this is for me, it's never, doing anything else but animation. I mean, that's all I've ever done and that's all I, I want to do. And I think the other side as well is just the, uh, is the students and the people that you get to meet. I think uh, for me, it's just sort of getting to know people from, from every, all different countries and, and also really just uh, getting a lot of good friends out of it that I know that I'll definitely keep in touch with.